Jeffrey Lamar Williams, known professionally as Young Thug, is an American rapper, singer, and songwriter. He is considered to be an influential figure of his generation, with his music impacting the modern sound of hip-hop and trap music. Known for his eccentric vocal style and fashion, Thug initially released a series of independent mixtapes beginning in 2011 with I Came From Nothing. In early 2013, he signed with Gucci Mane's 1017 Records, and later that year he released his label debut mixtape, 1017 Thug, to critical praise. After collaborating with various artists in the musical world, Young Thug has become a fan favorite among enthusiasts of the trap genre. Young Thug has an estimated net worth of $8 million. Young Thug's Early Life Young Thug was born on August 16, 1991, in Atlanta, Georgia. He is the 10th of 11 children. He is from Sylvan Hills, a neighborhood in Atlanta, Zone 3, and grew up in the Jonesboro South Projects. Other rappers from the neighborhood include Waka Flocka Flame, 2 Chains, Ludacris, and Williams' childhood friend Pee Wee Longway, from whom Williams lived four doors down. Young Thug has told interviewers that he was expelled in the sixth grade for breaking a teacher's arm. He was sent to juvenile prison for four years. Young Thug's Personal Life Young Thug has six children by four women, three sons and three daughters. At the age of 17, he became a father. In April 2015, he became engaged to Jerrica Carlay, who runs a swimsuit line and whose mother managed the late Young Dolph. Young brought his first home in September 2016 after the release of his mixtape, Jeffrey. The home, based in Buckhead, Atlanta, is more than 11,000 square feet, has six bedrooms, 11 bathrooms, a full bar, a theater room, and a four-car garage. During his childhood, one of Thug's older brothers was shot and killed in front of the family home. In April 2020, during a concert live stream, Thug revealed a recent brush with death, stating, and I quote, I kinda just stayed in the bed and I was like, yo, call the ambulance. I can't move my body. Then later, when the ambulance came, I couldn't get out of bed. They had to get me out of the bed, basically. I felt like my whole body was numb and I couldn't move. I went to the hospital and I had found out that I had liver and kidney failure. And I kinda had sort of passed away, like I kinda died. In December 2016, Thug joined the hashtag Fight Poverty Again campaign. On June 29, 2017, Thug donated all proceeds of a sold-out concert to Planned Parenthood, stating on Twitter that I was a teenage parent. Planned and unplanned parenthood is beautiful. Young Thug Professional Career Young Thug began his musical career before he reached his 20s, featuring on True Royal's She Can Go. This prompted Young Thug to release numerous mixtapes between 2011 and 2012. These mixtapes became known as the I Came From Nothing series. Prominent Atlanta-based rapper Gucci Mane took notice of Young Thug and signed him to the 1017 Brick Squad record label. After releasing more mixtapes with the support of Gucci Mane's label, Young Thug created a quite a buzz due to his original music style. Many predicted that he would be one of the biggest new rappers. During this time, Young Thug added to his notoriety by collaborating with artists such as Waka Flocka Flame and Travis Scott. Young Thug received mainstream recognition in 2014 with the singles Stoner and Danny Glover, in addition to appearances on several singles, including T.I.'s About the Money, Tyga's Hookah, and Rich Gang's Lifestyle. That year, he also signed to Liar Cohen's 300 Entertainment and collaborated on the mixtape Rich Gang, The Tour, Part 1. In 2015, he amassed a number of mixtapes, including Barter 6 and two installments of his Slime Season series. Subsequently, in 2016, Thug issued commercial mixtapes I'm Up, Slime Season 3, and Jeffrey. In 2017, Thug featured on the worldwide hit Havana by Cuban pop singer Camila Cabello, which became his first number one single on the Billboard Hot 100. In 2018, he released a compilation album Slime Language with his label YSL Records. In 2019, he won the Grammy Award for Song of the Year for his contributions to Childish Gambino's This Is America. Young Thug debut studio album, So Much Fun, released in 2019, debuted at number one on the U.S. Billboard 200 and included the Billboard Hot 100 top 20 singles The London and Hot. The following year, his single Go Crazy with Chris Brown from the collaborative mixtape Slime and B peaked at number three on the Hot 100, becoming his first top 10 single as a lead artist. Additionally, he reached number one on the Billboard Hot 100 for the second time in his career with his feature alongside M.I.A. on Travis Scott's single, Franchise. 
In 2021, Thug released the compilation album Slime Language 2, which debuted at number one on the Billboard 200. Later that year, Thug would reach number one on the Hot 100 a third time by featuring alongside Future on Drake's Way Too Sexy. His second studio album, Punk, was released on October 15, 2021. It debuted at number one on the Billboard 200, becoming his third number one album, as well as his second chart-topping project of 2021. Young Thug Concert Earnings In the wake of the 2020 coronavirus, Young Thug explained to radio host Big Boy how canceling shows and festivals cost artists on his level millions of dollars. He explained, and I quote, The money I get for shows, let's say I get $500,000. If I don't do these 10 shows, that's $5 million. He further explained that he sort of loses double the money because he needs and wants to keep his expenses at the same level. He stated, and I quote, I might spend a million, two million, just on this quarantine shit. Like, I got my mom and daddy, all these folks, goddamn. I'm like, y'all stay in the house. They're like, yeah. They get tired of the house every week. They want a penthouse, go to the hotel. That shit costs money and you don't make the money off your shows. However much money I lose on a show, that's probably the same amount of money I lose spending my money. Young Thug Image and Fashion Vibe magazine called Young Thug one of the most unpredictable, charismatic, and outlandish personalities in hip-hop today. Roe v. called him a fashion icon. His wardrobe has been described as eccentric and consists predominantly of women's clothing, which he has preferred to wear since age 12. The Seattle Times wrote that with a fashion sense as unconventional as his rapping, Young Thug can regularly be seen on his Instagram account rocking painted fingernails, skin-tight jeans, or a kid-sized dress as a shirt, which, along with his habit of regularly referring to close male friends as hubby or lover, has led to rumors about his sexual orientation. In an advertisement for Calvin Klein, Thug proclaimed, In my world, you can be a gangsta with a dress, or you can be a gangsta with baggy pants. Fusion described him as defying gender stereotypes and agitating the way hip-hop defines black masculinity through his eccentric sense of style. He has been compared to David Bowie, Prince, and Little Richard. The media has called him gender fluid and androgynous. GQ called him at once a hero and an outsider and a leader of the psychedelic fashion movement of rap hippies. Young Thug rebranded himself as sex in February 2018. Thanks for watching. Kindly subscribe and hit the bell icon. You can also like and share this video.